Most of us remember how D. Thomas bought a side-splitting laughter in the 1970 sitcom What's Happening by playing the pain-in-the-butt smart-mouth little sister of Raj. The show bought us joy from 1976 to 1979, but actress Danielle Spencer's real-life struggles have bought her quite a bit of pain that isn't so funny at all. In 1977, when she was just 11 years old, and at the height of her What's Happening career, Danielle was involved in a deadly car crash with her stepfather, Tim Pelt, while on the way to the set of the show. Her stepfather died in the crash, shielding Danielle's body as a tractor trailer rammed into the car they were driving while on the highway. The accident left Danielle in a coma for three weeks and with a broken leg, arm, and pelvis. She was gone from the show for the end of the first season but was back fully healed for the second season and bought us a bunch of hilarious, unforgettable moments. In 1985, she reprised her role as Dee in 11 episodes of the sequel of What's Happening titled What's Happening Now. The show only lasted three years and was soon canceled in 1988. A few years later, Danielle attended Tuskegee University Veterinary School in Tuskegee, Alabama and became a veterinarian in 1993. Immediately, she used her platform to play the role of a veterinarian in the 1997 film, As Good As It Gets, starring Jack Nicholson, and soon after, she established her own veterinary practice in Los Angeles, California. In 2004, to her surprise, Danielle was diagnosed with spinal stenosis due to a calcified disc that had developed in her upper back as a result of the 1977 car accident. After having surgery to correct the problem, she was left partially paralyzed from the waist down for eight months and was confined to a wheelchair. Devotedly, she received treatment at a rehabilitation center in West Orange, New Jersey, where she was able to walk again with the help of crutches. Decades later, in 2014, Danielle was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 49 years old. She made the decision to get a double mastectomy to eliminate the cancer from her body and to prevent it from spreading. The surgery was a success and Danielle was eventually declared cancer free. Four years later in 2018, after experiencing severe head pain, Danielle was rushed to the hospital where she underwent emergency brain surgery to remove a bleeding hematoma. It is speculated that this ailment was also a result of the car accident. At the time of the surgery, a few of Danielle's loyal friends started a GoFundMe page on the internet to raise funds for her treatment, recovery, and health setbacks. Since the surgery, not much is known of Danielle's current lifestyle, and her Instagram page has been inactive for at least four years now. No matter where her destiny is, We sincerely wish Danielle the best of luck on her journey. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.